Today, we're sharing three wicking tricks for you. Tools like our single and multi-wick setters are incredibly useful to help center wicks, but you can also center wicks with supplies you probably already have on hand. First up, make a template. This hack works with paper, cardstock, or cardboard. Trace the candle jar base, find and mark the center point if you'll be using a single wick. This can also be done for multi-wicks, you'll just need to decide where you'd like your wicks to go. Trace the outline of your wick tab or tabs and cut them out. Drop your template inside the container and center those wicks with confidence. If you're working with a clear jar, you can place the template underneath the jar. The other approach, mark the bottom of the jar with a marker. Give yourself a guide to aim for by dotting the bottom of the jar. This can be done on the inside or outside of a clear jar. For opaque containers, mark the inside. Here's a hack for wicking tall or narrow jars. Thanks to their height or narrow build, some jars are tougher to wick. When you can't easily reach the bottom of a jar, you'll have to get creative. Grab a straw from your kitchen, slide in the pre-tabbed wick with your wick sticker attached, and now you can easily place the wick in the jar. Here's a hack for alternative wick bars. Wick bars are my favorite wick centering tools, but if you don't have any on hand, or if you run out, here are some other materials you could try. If you have any tips or tricks for wicking your candles, let me know.